everybody. Thank you for joining my Microsoft Build On Demand session, upgrading your Xamarin apps to .NET MAUI. I am Maddie Monaquilla. I am a product manager on the .NET MAUI team, and I am here to give you some tips and tricks quickly about what to do before you upgrade your app, and then show you about the upgrade assistant tool we have in Visual Studio and on the command line that can help get your migrations and upgrades going smoothly. So let's talk about what .NET MAUI is quickly if you are new to it. It is cross-platform native UI. The biggest change from Xamarin, and if you are a Xamarin developer, you will get what I mean. And if you're not, that's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, we actually use, by default, a single project. So you will hear me talk about the single project architecture, migrating things from head projects into a single project. Um, that means taking the previous Xamarin Android, Xamarin iOS apps and putting them all in one project. You don't have to. You can. That's one of the great benefits of Maui, though. Um, and from that single project, you can deploy to all of the different places you deployed for Xamarin, but also including WinUI and Mac. So you can do Android, iOS, uh, Mac, and WinUI Windows apps. It uh, is general availability as of build last year. So we are now a year old. We're really excited. We've come a long way from um, the, just in the past year, especially when it comes to ecosystem readiness for migrations. So we're really excited to share this with you. Uh, if you go to the longer build session about .NET MAUI in general, uh, you will hear some stories about customers who are already shipping MAUI apps. But this is a lightning demo, and I'm already rambling too much. So we're going to keep going. Um, but really, .NET MAUI is just a really productive way to write your native apps for any platform. Why should you upgrade? So if you're on Xamarin or Xamarin Forms, you might be wondering why you have to do any work, even though it's not so much work, but why you have to do any work to just keep your app running. First and foremost, if you're not pushing updates to your app, you don't actually have to do anything. Uh, at some point, it will fall out of support with iOS or Android. They will ask you to rebuild it, uh, compile it against the latest operating systems, but you have many, many years before that'll be an issue. Um, so if you're not doing anything to your apps, don't stress out about it. If you are pushing feature updates to your app, we think that actually migrating to .NET MAUI is going to end up being a really good feature update for you and your customers for a ton of reasons. One is just the performance. Um, and a lot of that comes from decoupling the platform controls from cross-platform controls, which means that instead of every function, every MAUI button being really tightly coupled to the Android buttons and iOS buttons and Windows buttons, um, we make that more flexible. So by default it is, but you can extend those, modify them. It's a faster architecture, and it will also let you develop in alternate app models if that's something you're interested in doing. We also have a lot better desktop support. So multi-windowing, pointer, click, gestures, all of that great work. Ton of other stuff on this slide. You can pause this video and read it more deeply if you're interested, but I'm not going to go into it for uh, the sake of time. So one thing I wanted to show is this quick performance video. We are seeing incredibly great startup time changes between Maui and Xamarin. So this is a Maui app um, file new versus the Xamarin Forms file new. It's almost 35% faster in startup, which is pretty significant. A really heavy real world app we're seeing, the startup time is still under a second, which is an awesome startup time. Generally anything under a second, we're pretty happy with. So performance is a really good thing. All customers love it. That's part of the reason we suggest upgrading to Maui. So do you need to rewrite your apps to leverage Maui? Nope. We'll talk about how you can do it in your existing code base shortly. What happens to Xamarin Android and Xamarin iOS? If you wrote something that doesn't have Xamarin Forms, then you might not want cross-platform UI with Maui. That's OK. We just have .NET for Android and .NET for iOS. It's really not a feature. It's just like .NET can target those platforms. So those things will upgrade and work perfectly fine. Um, when should you start trying to upgrade? So the Xamarin end of life is May 2024, which is a year from now from Microsoft Build 2023. And like I said earlier, if you're not rebuilding or pushing updates to your app, the store will still accept it for a while. New apps have to be compiled for Apple against the latest iOS. So if you're building something new, you should probably try to ship it with Maui right off the bat. Uh, but other than that, you should get up to date. You should try and make sure that you're out of old Xamarin 
forms three dot something and try regular relatively modern with uh the code you're pushing start evaluating your migration so that within the next year you can go ahead and complete it and ship it to your customers um, the thing about all of these upgrades is that every customer is different and you know your app and your customers and your busy season or risk season all of those things you know them best so we wanted to make this really flexible for you some of my tips and tricks um couple couple things again pause and screenshot if you're interested in going into this deeper but i think the most important things for you to do are get rid of anything unnecessary we've shipped a ton of new controls and properties in both xamarin and maui so some of the custom renderers you wrote back in the day you might not even need anymore you might as well just get rid of those um and also inventory your nuget packages so if there are packages that you really depend on that are core to your app you should really check if they have a maui compatible version if they will need to be recompiled for maui if there are alternates you can switch out to um and i have more info on that on the next slide do not panic that is my number one piece of advice um and don't just like stop working on your app until you migrate because you're like worried about it that's never good um you know i have an email at the end you can reach out to us with questions too so a little bit more about the nuget packages and libraries Great news is that non UI specific packages will not have to be recompiled if they're built off of .NET standard, except uh, Xamarin iOS specific ones need to be recompiled. There was a minor change, but that should be really easy to do. And you are also able to just fork libraries and do that yourself if necessary. Um, libraries that have UI components, so something like extending frames or whatever, you those library owners will have to update the namespaces. Um, and do Maui compatibility work, make sure that their layouts are tested. We have almost all of the popular control vendors have Maui capable things out in the world now. Again, that's another thing we have more details on in the broader Maui session. Um, but definitely check that out. Again, if the UI, if the UI component you're using is open source, um, you can just fork it and recompile it if necessary, if the maintainer won't do it. But this is probably the biggest upgrade blocker when it comes to preparing to actually do your upgrade. So I always say start your inventory, get your Excel spreadsheets or whatever it is going. Um, and, and that's a really good place to start. So let's look at how you can use the .NET Upgrade Assistant in Visual Studio to jumpstart and really make your life easier when it comes to getting things over to Maui. So I'm going to open Visual Studio. This is a Xamarin Forms app. This is an app I've worked on for a very long time as for demos. It's actually relatively out of date. I have not updated it to any of the most recent Xamarin Forms 5 service releases. So it is called Plant Lady. It tells you when to water your plants. There's not much going on in it. Um, again, like I said earlier, and I will say probably three more times, this you know your app your code base, your product best. So this might not look exactly like, in fact, it probably does not look exactly like your app and your product. I'm just kind of giving you the broad strokes for you to go in and fill in the gaps with your knowledge. Let's talk about this upgrade assistant. So this is a separate extension I downloaded into Visual Studio. So if I go to installed, um, I have this .NET upgrade assistant here. Um, that's it, very cool. I searched it online downloaded it, set it up, good to go. And what that does is when I right click on a project, it gives me this upgrade option. So right here, I right clicked on my Android head project. So that's the, the Android specific Xamarin Forms project and I click upgrade and that's what gives me this UI here. There's also a command line version. Um, it has slightly different features. If you are on Mac, you can use the command line because this doesn't exist for Visual Studio for Mac right now. Um, cool. So. What this supports is uh, Android and iOS migrations because UWP is not the backend for Windows for Maui when UI is. That's a separate whole thing. We'll talk about that another time. Um, so I can just unload this project and not worry about it. But there are a ton of different ways you can go about doing your migration. So first and foremost, um, you want to start with your head projects. They reference the .NET standard Maui project or Xamarin Forms project. Excuse me, let me zoom in here. Control. So your head projects, this one, Android, iOS, right? You want to start with migrating these and then you want to migrate your Maui one, your Xamarin Forms one to Maui last. 
But when you right click upgrade, it gives you two options in place or side by side. If you want to maintain head projects, I would recommend in place. So for this Android app, right, I'll click in place project upgrade. You can pick the .NET you want to upgrade to. I'm going to go with .NET 7 because uh, I'm cool. I'm on the edge. And then you can actually go in and select the individual components you want to upgrade. So if I didn't want to move over any of my resources, if I was going to move um, over to the way that Maui does images, which is all in the single project, I can just uncheck that. Otherwise, I can just migrate it all. Upgrade selection. Upgrade. Upgrade is the word, not migrate. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll see it checks all these things off as it goes. Um, that was super fast. Anytime you make project file changes, it's, it is going to unload and reload things in the uh, Solution Explorer. So that's why you see any flashing or anything happen there. But at the end of this whole process, it shows me everything that's been upgraded and the, the things that it checked that don't actually need to be upgraded. For example, all of these images. So then I can go ahead and I can do the same thing to my Xamarin Forms app. I'm not going to do the iOS one for the sake of time. This is another place where you can get interesting. Uh, you can do the in-place project upgrade, upgrade the same thing in place. One thing that I've seen a lot of customers like to do is actually use the side-by-side -side project upgrade, which lets you move it all into a new Maui project. And if you decide that you at some point want to start using the single project architecture, this is one of the best ways to do it, I think. So you can do this. You can create a new project or an existing project. I would create a file, new Maui app, and name it what you want to name it and migrate into the existing project. But for this, we'll just do new. Um, I'll name it Plant Lady Maui. I'll hit next. I'll pick the .NET I want. And then I tell it, again, what to upgrade in. I want everything from my Xamarin Forms app. So I will do that. It will load, um, show the same kind of stuff it showed for Android. We'll give it a few seconds. Check, check, check. Super fast. Um, and then I will have a Maui app at the end. I will have a new project in this solution that is a .NET Maui app where it took the code from my Xamarin Forms app and moved it into the different project. So this will go and create a new project for me and do all the same types of transformation steps it did with the Android project, including uh, it will take any packages, NuGet packages, and update them to the Maui-related ones um, when it comes to Xamarin Forms, Xamarin Essentials. It will also go into my XAML files, my C-sharp files, and transform namespaces from anything that says Xamarin or Xamarin Forms to Maui. It will fix certain API changes. We call them transformations. Um, and there are a bunch of details you can get in the output pane here from Upgrade Assistant. So we'll see it's doing. Uh, adding using statements, Microsoft Maui down here, adding Microsoft Maui controls to the file. So you can go in and see exactly what it's doing to your project. And then you're left with that project at the end. Sometimes you do have to go ahead and reload your Solution Explorer. So what we'll do is we'll do this um, to show the new projects. We'll go in a folder view. And we'll see we now have Plant Lady Maui and Plant Lady Android, the updated one, are in here. So this is just a Maui app. What's great is I can go and add a folder to Plant Lady Maui. Uh, I can call it Platforms, and I can start copy pasting over things from my Android and iOS apps that I've migrated, and start to use that to get the single project architecture that we love with Maui. If you don't want to do that though, that's totally fine. If I were to build this right now, there probably would be a couple errors. That's because we don't do everything for you with Upgrade Assistant. We get you most of the way there. So what I recommend is just building your app, seeing what errors, fixing those things, uh, and trying to build again. It's kind of an iterative process. What's great about this Upgrade Assistant tool is that because it's an extension, we can ship updates to it all the time. So as we identify really popular transformations people are doing, we will push updates. To download the Upgrade Assistant extension, you can search in the Visual Studio extensions, or you can go to the Marketplace website and find it. It's called Upgrade Assistant. The command line Upgrade Assistant that I mentioned, um, it's just on GitHub. It's open source. So feel free to grab that and follow the instructions there. That's the one that you can use on Mac or in the command line. So if you're in um, different machines where you might not have like a full VS IDE. And as promised, I mentioned there would be a way to get in touch with us. 
please email maui-upgrades at microsoft.com with successes, trials, tribulations, um, any pressing questions, anything you want us to know. This is not an official support alias, the PM team. There's a handful of us. Many of us are in person at Microsoft Build. We are going to be monitoring this and looking for stories and critical issues um, and, and what kind of trends and common things people are bringing up to you. So if we don't get back to you right away, I'm sorry, that's why. But just know that we are reading these emails and we are using that feedback that you're sending us uh, to make better product decisions, whether it's with Maui or with the Upgrade Assistant um, and everything else. So thank you so much for joining. Definitely reach out to Maui Upgrades or my email, maddie at microsoft.com with any questions. And I hope you enjoy the rest of Build, whether you're in person or just hanging out with the pre-records or virtual. There's a lot of amazing content from all the different teams this year. So I hope you enjoy it. And thank you.